you know, I've, I've come to ask myself uh, over the past uh, few months, when was it that I changed my mind on this? Because I voted against this as legislative parity, uh, legislative rich parity uh, could back me up on, because uh, he's pr proposed it in the past several times. Um, you know, uh, when did I change my mind? And I think the moment that I changed my mind was when um, members of the other caucus, uh, members of the Democratic caucus, were unwilling to uh, alter one of the memorializing resolutions to um, to condemn hate speech against all people and to express solidarity with all people. Because they said that we could only be against hate speech against a certain subset, uh, a subsection of the county. And that was when memorializing resolutions went from a tool for this body to use to a tool for politics. And you know, I, in the future, you know, this is a, uh, of, um, an olive branch to my, my colleagues on the other side. Um, in the future, I may be open to uh, having these resolutions uh, come back into our to our body, um, but it would take some specific uh, it would take some specific requirements. Uh, there would have to be a supermajority signed on to the resolution, uh, because what we've heard a lot of on the other side is um, you know there are all these bipartisan resolutions supported by the whole body by Republicans and Democrats. Well, then why don't we put our money where our mouth is, and if we're really not doing politics, let's take the politics out of it and only pass bipartisan memorializing resolutions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. With all due respect, Mr. Chairman, I find your remarks a little absurd. Uh, the very idea that because someone didn't want to change a resolution to fit your needs, and therefore it was not valuable, <laughs> then you have the right, as every other legislator, to vote no on that. That's part of the legislative process. Now, when we take a look at memorializing resolutions, you know, there are a lot of them that tend to be political in nature. <laughs> and, and uh, it will have no effect. You know, or is a uh, great slip from Jefferson Airplane to paraphrase her, doesn't mean crap to a tree. But having said that, there are other resolutions that do mean something. And besides that, politics is in the eye of the beholder. To one, it may be politics. To another, it may be a call to action. Now, I have been the only resolutions that, my, the only positions that I've ever taken here where I have actually been physically threatened was over memorializing resolutions. Two different memorializing, or, you know, that came out of the uh, Republican caucus at the time, what I would refer to as right wing memorializing resolutions. I was a no on them, and I spoke uh, adamantly against them. And I was actually physically threatened, not by any member here. I probably would have needed but uh, um, by someone else. And I was threatened on actually two different occasions on my stand on a memorializing resolution. So I mean, I could see some of your argument that, oh, geez, they take up time. And uh, they do um, polarize people from time to time. But on the other hand, it brings people out to participate in their democracy. And many people, I mean, I taught um, government in high school for 28 years. And one of the things that you find is students knew a lot about their federal government, a decent about about their state government, but knew virtually nothing about their local governments. And many people, as they age, they still don't. They may know a little bit because they may go to a town board meeting because they're mad about their taxes or whatever. But by these memorializing resolutions, people understand that they have the national issues and they have passion on that. And they come out. And the idea that they're coming out, it brings their ears out to listen to other things that we're talking about. I mean, I wish that be, and some people, once they come out, they stay involved. And that's a plus. I know I've seen people in here that 
they came out because of memorial as resolution and next thing you know you see them at all the meetings they start showing up at the meetings that is a good thing the more people that show up the better even if you don't like them it's still better and i wish they would have shown up on other times i wish maybe if we had some memorializing resolutions maybe the public would have showed up in force against the privatization of golden idol or against mm -hmm. the privatization of our mental health that we did maybe we could have stopped that but that wasn't done so i will vote no on this i don't think in the end it serves us well